Hello, I hope all is well. This is Prophet Desmond. I uh, hope everybody's having a blessed one. Uh, thank you for tuning in to my channel, and I hope all is well. So today I wanted to talk about knowledge, and like it's kind of like a really like interesting thing because like people are perishing for a lack of knowledge. In Hosea, chapter four. No, I mean, uh, in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that you shall be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So, pretty much, people are, forget, are perishing because of a lack of knowledge. Now, looking back, like, there's a lot of things that I wish I had known when I was younger. Because if I did, it would have stopped me from making certain mistakes. People are perishing for a lack of knowledge. You have a lot of Christians that believe in an abortion. But like a couple Bible readings, you're going to know that abortion is a sin. Like people are perishing for lack of knowledge. People don't know that the government is not their friend. Uh, they don't know the kind of stuff they're putting in our food, in our water. They don't know how they're doing bioengineering. They don't know how they're making fake meat. So people are pretty much perishing for a lack of knowledge. Now, personally, I just wish I would have had more knowledge about certain things, especially like back in the day, because it would have stopped me from making mistakes. Like for example, like there was this one girl I dated when I was a little bit younger, like not too long ago. I mean, sadly, she, she just passed before the new year, but there's certain things that I honestly wish I would have known I have learned certain things about her in the prophetic that I wish I would have known back then. Like, so like we're perishing for a lack of knowledge. A lack of knowledge is what kills relationships. People don't really understand their spouse. People just marry, but they don't really know their spouse. They don't know what ticks them off. They don't know what they actually desire. A lot of people get into the wrong relationship because of a lack of knowledge. You don't really have knowledge about that kind of person. You don't know that that kind of person is really after your money. You don't know that that kind of person has terrible, terrible intention. I've met a lot of people who, on the surface, they look like really, really good people. But when I get to know them, they are terrible. They are terrible. So, like, we're really perishing for a lack of knowledge. Now, in the gospel, Jesus told his disciples, Be wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. And in the Psalms and Proverbs, it talks about seeking wisdom and how it's wise, it's good, it's a good thing to seek knowledge. A lot of people are comfortable not knowing or understanding things. A lot of people don't understand that some of these illnesses are spiritual. Some, some people don't understand that dreams may not only be a way that God may communicate with you, but it may also be a way that your enemy may attack you spiritually. So a lot of people, they understand the physical world, but they don't know that there's more to the naked eye. There's more going on than what we see. Their forces, are forces, their entities. So people are perishing for a lack of knowledge. People don't know how harmful circular music is because it has certain frequencies and vibrations. So like, why do you think that when you listen to sad music, you feel sad? Or when you listen to uplifting music, you feel uplifted. Because it has certain frequencies. Like people don't people don't understand that their words have power. Like in the New Testament, it speaks about the power of the tongue. Life and death is in the tongue and whoever uses it. Your words can uplift people and your words can destroy people. So people are perishing for a lack of knowledge. And there's a lot of terrible things going on in this uh, modern day. There's a lot of bioengineering. There's a lot of bio warfare. Like even this vaccine. This vaccine was obviously administered. This vaccine is not of God. So there's a lot of bio warfare going on. Um what else? What else? There's bio warfare going on. There's uh there's all this propaganda. LGBT gayness, feminism. So there's all this like terrible, terrible propaganda. So people are really perishing for a not lack of knowledge. And the best way 
to get knowledge these days is to read that Bible and do your research. You can't trust what the media tells you any, anymore. You can never trust the media. You can't trust what the government officials tell you. And a lot of people, they're perishing for a lack of knowledge. They are taking heed to false doctrines because they don't read the Bible themselves. You can go to any church and say I'm the pastor. I can cherish pick a couple Bible verses to support my point. But at the end of the day, because you haven't read that Bible for yourself, you can easily be misled. There are some people who believe in predestination, meaning God had already predestined some people for hell. Which, which is totally not of God because God gives everybody a chance to repent and seek Him and have salvation. Uh, there's a lot of people who just believe in very terrible, terrible doctrines. I remember I was on YouTube one time and I came across a video. This pastor was washing people at his church. Like they were literally taking a bath in front of the congregation and he was pretty much saying that he's washing them away, he's washing them from their sins. And I think it was some verse in Isaiah or Jeremiah, there was Jeremiah that pretty much was talking about like even with soap, you can't be washed away of your sins. It's only God that can wash you away from your sins. So if people would have read a little Bible, they would have known that that is just that's just not biblical. There's a lot of biblical unbiblical things going on in the church today. And they don't people don't read their Bible. They just come to they just come and listen to one sermon and they believe whatever the pastor has told them. They believe whatever uh, the pastor has told them. A lot of people are drowning to death. Their finances are bad. They don't know how interest rates work. They don't know about loans. They don't know how to save money. They don't know how to invest. People are perishing for lack of knowledge. The medical industry, one of the worst. People are popping all sorts of pills. Now, my definition of medicine is you take it and your body slowly recovers until you don't need medicine anymore. But when you're taking medication for years, 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 all your life, you don't get any better and you have side effects, then that's not really medicine, it's poison. A lot of people don't know, don't have knowledge about how the pharmacy industry is using us as money, money tools. So people are perishing for a lack of knowledge. Do your best to gain knowledge so that you don't perish. Thank you very much and have a blessed one.